hey welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show us how to transform reports to data set so let's get started let's see our sample data set and what we intend to achieve at the end of this video now in this report we have in column a the account manager and we have the first account manager's name with the product payment method and the subtotal for each of the quarter one that is month january to march quarter two that is april to june quarter three july to september and quarter four that is october to december so we have each of the subtotal for our account manager on a really best natasha love nicholas dean and so on now this is going to be the end result of what we intend to achieve that is in column a we want to get the quarters the month account manager product payment and the sales amount in columns b to f respectively so let's see how to do this from the scratch so i'm going to come to the other excel workbook i have here now the first thing i need to do is to get this report into the power query so to do that i can come to the data tab under the get and transform data group i click on from table slash range and that will prompt me to create table now i do not want my table to have headers so i'm going to uncheck my table has headers and i click on ok all right so our report is now in the power query editor where we can clean transform and then consume the data so we have the query now i'm going to rename this i'm going to and call it data set and i click enter so based on our columns okay we have columns one two and so on now the first thing i want to do in the first column is to fill down the account manager's name okay so i'm going to right click and choose fill and i want to fill down so we have filled all the corner really bad and all the natasha love and so on now the next thing i want to do is to match these three columns this one product and the payment so i'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the third column then i right click and choose Merge columns now in the merge columns dialog box i need to specify the delimiter or the separator so in this case i'm going to use custom let me use custom and then in the custom i'm going to use what is called single pipe and then click on ok so we have the columns matched into one now what i'm going to do next is i actually want to transpose this merged column now to do that come to the transform tab under the table click on transpose and that will automatically convert all the quarters to the first column that is quarter one two three to four okay now having done that i need to promote this first row okay as the headings so click on this little icon and i just used use first row as headers and that's fine so next i'm going to fill up all this q1 q2 and so on so right click and choose um let me move my screen i choose right click and fill i'm going to fill down so that's nice now uh, finally for now what i'm going to do is to grab these two columns and then unpivot all other columns so i hold on my shift key and click on this and right click and choose on pivot right click and choose on pivot all the columns oh that's awesome so we have the quarter one in the first column the month in the second column and the next is to split this account managers column the product column and the payment column into separate columns so to do that i grab this single column and i right click and i can actually do split and i want to split by delimiter and then we see i have the single pipe selected which is the custom and then i click on ok cool so we have the account managers column the product column and the payment column so let's tidy things up and i'm going to call this one quarters okay quarters and i'm going to call this one month and we'll name this to be account manager 
and then it's going to be for products and it's going to be payment method and finally i'm going to call this one sales amount okay so let's just give currency data type and these are a fine now we have some empty cells here and here now this is because we have the subtotal still featuring under the account managers column now to do that i'm going to filter out anything that contains total so let's quickly do that this is a small data so i check this i check the grand total natasha love total then the class din total and that's all click ok and then our data quality is showing green that's fine so what i'm going to do is to finally load this into the excel table so come to the home tab close and we'll close and load to a table so we are fine in the table and in a new worksheet and then i click on ok oh that's amazing so we have the report transformed into data set so what i'm going to do i'm going to come here and let's rename this to be i'm going to call this one um quarter one that is one in room figure and then i click enter so when i come here and i just right click and i choose um refresh and it will automatically update so we have 600 rows loaded and everything is actually looking good so this is essentially how we can use the power query to transform reports to data set i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like share subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon thank you and bye for now cheers